All new tonight, drug gangs have a new way of shipping illegal drugs and drug money across the country. And this could affect innocent people. Chief investigative reporter Morgan Lowe tells us how a package you get in the mail may pull you into a smuggling ring. It is a part of life in an e-commerce world. Boxes and boxes delivered to homes just about everywhere. All right, thank you. And sometimes you even get packages meant for someone else. If you look online, you'll see lots of news stories about illegal drugs accidentally shipped to the wrong address. But what if some of these weren't mistakes after all? Law enforcement officials say they've spotted a new trend where drug smugglers are intentionally shipping packages to the wrong address, then sending a courier to pick up the package from the unsuspecting recipient. And we may have caught one of these incidents on surveillance camera. It happened in a West Valley neighborhood just last month when a man came to the door and said he was with a package recovery company. I said I'm with recovery. I came to pick up a couple of packages delivered to the wrong address for a Levi. The problem is no such package had arrived. The man left, but three hours later, UPS showed up. And sure enough... Okay, so this is, 19, this is 1952 lane, right? The package had this address, but it wasn't the homeowner's name. So it's probably it's just probably wrong then, right? That homeowner, our producer, he sent him away with the package. But the next day, look who came back. I got called again and said package was delivered. That's why I'm back over here. That's when we questioned him through the two-way security system. So here's the deal, man. I'm an investigative producer for CBS News here in Phoenix. Um, there's no illegal stuff in that package that you know of, is there? Because it's kind of weird that you came last night. UPS came at one point to deliver something with the name that you said, and I told them that it wasn't mine, so to take it back. So. They have whatever package it is that you're talking about that you keep coming back to my house to pick up. The box that you got probably had two phones in it. What I do if it goes to the wrong address, recover it, and then I get a different address and then I got to take it to the people that work for them and deliver it. He said he works for a European package recovery company, but he gave us a phone number that goes to Ghana, Africa. Law enforcement sources tell us these shipments could contain drugs, drug money, or even merchandise like expensive cell phones used to launder money. So Morgan, clear up the basic question that we all have here. Why would drug smugglers ship this stuff to the wrong house in the first place? So we know that drug smugglers use the mail. Sometimes law enforcement sort of intercept the drugs and then track them to the uh, destinations. So if it goes to the wrong address, the bad guys are protected. They then send someone to recover that package and take it to the correct destination. And these recovery people, like the one we spoke to, might not even be in on this. They could just be doing a legitimate job. Okay, so what should you do if you get one of these packages that's sent to your address but sent to somebody else? Somebody else's name. If you're home, don't accept it. If you come home and it's on your doorstep, call uh, UPS, the Postal Service, FedEx, whoever delivered it, they will come out and get the package and take it back. It could be a legitimate mistake or it could be one of these situations. And they get it off your hands. Morgan Lowe, our chief investigative reporter, thank you.